Hi friends, welcome back to Rajagopal Tangavel's forum. In this session, we will discuss isometric projection of the truncated cylinder. Read the question. A cylinder 50 mm diameter and 60 mm height rests stands on HP. So stands on HP top view is the circle. A section plane perpendicular to VP inclined at 55 degree to HP cuts the cylinder and passes through a point on the axis at a height of 45 mm from the base or above the base. So above the base. Draw the isometric projection of the truncated portion of the cylinder when the cut surface is clearly to the observer. Now, so we know top view is the circle, draw xy and proceed with uh, top view as the circle of uh, 50 mm diameter. So 50 mm diameter then uh, uh, whenever the cylinder problem, top view circle has to be divided into either uh, 8 divisions or 12 divisions. So for our convenience we can divide this uh, circle into 8 divisions as and after uh, dividing into 8 equal parts we can make it as uh, notations like a a1 b b1 c c1 d d1 e e1 f f1 g g1 and h h1 so uh, whatever in the bracket a b c d e f g h is the base and a1 b1 c1 uh, 2 h1 is the uh, top face of the cylinder now you can extend the projectors from all the divisions all the divisions as well as the boundary to complete the front view in the uh, front view of the solid front view of the solid what is the height of uh, cylinder it is uh, 60 mm 60 mm is the height and using that 60 mm height we can complete the uh, front view always draw everything by means of continuous thin lines and uh, given notations so we are all familiar with the notations from the projection of solids uh, to this isometric projection so it will be uh, self-explanatory for you now next thing is 45 mm above the base so mark 45 mm above the base and the inclination it is 55 degree so 55 degree with respect to hp and after completing the section plane this is the remote portion this is the remote portion and uh, remaining portion has to be converted into continuous thick lines always uh, remember for uh, cylinder and cone only the boundary surface we can see whatever the divisions we have uh, drawn is exclusively for our reference for our reference we divided into eight equal divisions so never ever convert this uh, intermediate divisions into continuous thick lines now after completing the section plane we have to identify the cutting points of section plane this is one dash here so if you extend the projector already it is on a a1 this is one correspondingly this is uh, two dash a two dash projector two dash projector uh, you may have a doubt this two dash is on some distance from h uh, not h and h b1 dash and b so b1 dash and b dash but being the uh, smooth surface of the uh, solid called cylinder so 2 is exactly on this point B this 2 is exactly on this point B uh, similarly what about this 3 dash exactly on this uh, C and C1 boundary that is uh, boundary surface we can fix for 4 dash 4 dash it is not cutting anywhere on this uh, vertical projector it is cutting the base it is cutting the base base or top face sorry top face g1 f1 and as well as c1 d1 so now we are having uh, c1 and d1 c1 and d1 intermediate this uh, section plane is traveling so i have to extend the projector from this point make it as uh, four dash you can extend the projector from this point is cutting uh, c1 and d1 here so we can make it as four Similarly, in F1 dash and G1 dash, where is F1 and G1? This is F1, this is G1, intermediate it is cutting at this point, make it as 5. Here in the top front view it is 5 dash, in the top view it is 5. So next is uh, 6 dash, 6 dash is exactly on the surface, 6 dash exactly on the surface and finally 7. 7 dash is here again on h1h here this is the h1h surface uh, we can make it as 7 now this section plane uh, cut surface portion has to do the 
uh, hatching representation so we can mark 4 to 5 by means of continuous thick lines because this is the remaining portion of the solid not cut by the section plane so section plane uh, cutting portion must be converted into uh, hatching lines represent the hatching line for the cut surface of the cylinder now this is the simple position with respect to the section plane whatever the uh, surface even if it may be a circle or it may be a pentagon hexagon we have to form a rectangle or a square by joining the boundaries of this uh, circle for isometric projection and given name being a cylinder we know that uh, top face one circle bottom face another one circle so we have uh, two uh, square shapes so that has to be reproduced uh, in the isometric projection after converting into isometric scale isometric scale this inclination of uh, p1 and this s1 p1 s1 so p1 and s1 is 30 degrees similarly p1 and q1 is 30 degree now you may have a doubt in the previous uh, truncated pentagonal pyramid we fixed q but I said for me wherever the lower point of the section plane lower point of the section plane as per this section plane the one dash is the lowest point so that's why I fixed P here so P1 so even you can fix Q1 but like that here uh, answer will be changed the view of answer will be changed so always fix the lowest point so one 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 dash is the lowest point of section plane that's why I fixed this P1 and complete this uh, square what I did is here the entire shape of the square the entire shape of the square dimension value is small this true length itself small if you are converting into 0.82 times it becomes some more some more uh, lesser than this one reduction in length so what I did is we I am following here 1 is to 2 ratio say for an example here it is 10 mm sorry 50 uh, mm that has to be converted into multiplied by 0 0.82 times as the isometric sale that value has been multiplied by 2 again so for you guys no need to do that so you can just convert this 50 into multiplied by 0 0.82 times you can draw the length of this p1 uh, as well as uh, p1 q1 and q1 r1 and only thing you have to remember is p1 s1 inclination and p1 q1 inclination is 30 degree afterwards what we can do is for completing this uh, circle surface here we will obtain as ellipse fix p1 as center take the midpoint of s1 and r1 and again p1 as center take the midpoint of r1 q1 similarly r1 as center midpoint of p1 s1 r1 as center midpoint of p1 and q1 so you can remember p1 as center take the midpoint of opposite edge s1 r1 and another one is r1 q1 afterwards take r1 as center the midpoint of s1 p1 side this is s1 p1 side r1 as center take the midpoint of p1 q1 join all these things now we can give notations for our being the first problem in the uh, circle as an ellipse in isometric projection so we can give a notations for our better understanding o1 o2 u1 t1 now so what we can do is take r1 as center either o1 or o2 as radius r1 as center o1 or o2 as radius both are same by making that o1 o2 as radius sorry not o1 o2 this point this point as radius so we can start with either p1 we can take uh, p1 as center u1 or t1 as radius p1 or u1 t1 as radius and fixing your compass here p1 as center this u1 as radius draw an arc to meet uh, to join u1 and t1 similarly r1 as center this point as radius join these two points so this portion has been completed afterwards take this o1 as center u1 as radius cut this portion join this portion by means of an ellipse so you can see uh, using compass we can take once again i repeat in this step p1 as center u1 as radius complete this portion see my cursor complete this portion 
P1 as center, T1 as radius. Afterwards, similarly, R1 as center, this point as radius and complete this portion of the arc. Then, O2 as center, this T1 as radius, complete this portion. Likewise, O1 as center, U1 as radius, complete this arc. Don't draw this ellipse by means of a rough and uh, sketch. So, you have to use compass to complete this ellipse. Now the base uh, of the cylinder is completed. Now what is the height of the cylinder? It is 60. So we can extend the 60 mm from 60 mm must be converted into isometric scale 60 into 0.82 times. Afterwards you can uh, extend the extend the projectors extend the projectors from all the corners of the this particular rectangle or square. So you can uh, extend the corner uh, projectors from all the corners P1. So from S1 and Q1 from finally R1. So all are similar lengths. Conversion of 60 by multiplying by 0.82 times. This is the height of the cylinder in the isometric projection. Now you can join all these uh, four corners as PQ, RS. PQ, RS. So if the same procedure what you did in the uh, base of the cylinder for obtaining the uh, ellipse you have to follow the similar principle okay so p q r and finally yes so this the basic of uh, basics of isometric projection without any uh, section plane conditions uh, like removed and remaining portion we are going to have n number of lines n number of lines in the isometric projection so always draw all these uh, brown lines brown lines whatever i used always draw for the, these reference lines for completing the ellipse by means of thin line because if you have numerous lines in the isometric projection while you are converting this one to seven uh, cutting points of section plane we may leads to confusion due to more number of lines so we can draw by means of continuous thin lines thin lines as possible so what i did is now i joined the uh, major and uh, minor diagonal of ellipse so you can see this s1 and q1 similarly p1 r1 is joined so here also sq is joined it will be helpful for us to uh, convert this one to seven points of the cutting plane before that we have to identify this a to h a b c d e f g h on this ellipse so where is the a a is on the midpoint of s1 and p1 s1 and p1 we are having a so here is this is s1 and p1 this uh, sphere cut touching point of s1 p1 is a next is uh, b that is b b is on the diagonal of pr b is on the diagonal of pr this is p and c on the diagonal of pr that is the surface of uh, circle we are having that is where p so, so surface of uh, p1 r1 so this is p1 r1 on the p1 r1 this is the surface we can mark it as b similarly p1 q1 we are having c midpoint we are having c1 p1 and this is q1 here we are having c so we can mark this point as C. Okay. So next is uh, Q1. And check on the diagonal of Q1 to this uh, H1H. Sorry. Q1 to S1S. Q1 to S1S. We are having on the surface. We are having on the surface D. So here this is the uh, Q1S1 diagonal on this we are having uh, on the surface d so similarly we can mark e here f and this is g and this is h okay so this is h now we marked all the uh, divisions of the circle divisions of the surface of the cylinder base uh, surface so a b c d e f g h so likewise you can mark a1 this is b1 here this is c1 and next cutting point is yes d1 e1 this is f1 and this is g1 and this is h1 so this is very simple so only thing we are going to uh, see this uh, top view 
we are marked all the a b c d e f g h from the base as well as top face afterwards we can extend the perpendicular projectors as you did in the simple question join a a1 so join b b1 already b b1 is joined so join c c1 all by means of continuous thin lines next d d1 so d d1 is the boundary of the cylinder that's why d d1 and h h1 is marked by means of uh, uh, different color different color because this is the boundary of the uh, cylinder so h h1 and d d1 so we marked all the uh, projectors because why does e e1 is not marked it is behind the solid so back, back side of the solid now we, we have to convert all this 1 2 3 4 5 so all these section plane cutting points on this projectors okay being pentagonal pyramid on the slant edge we used base alone here this is the uh, this 60 only we used for isometric scale so we can straight away convert from this a dash a1 dash we are having one dash so where is a a1 so this is a a1 vertical projector so we can mark this a dash a dash as center measure the distance of one dash convert into 0 0.82 times isometric scale and mark it on a a1 as 1 mark it as a a1 as 1 next one is 2 dash next one is 2 dash and similarly on the b b1 where is b b1 this is b this is b1 on b b1 we are having 2 how you can convert so measure from b dash to this 2 dash b dash from 2 dash measure this distance and convert into isometric scale mark on b1 b1 so either even you can start from b1 dash to 2 dash distance so b1 from 2 1 so b is nearer to this point 2 that's why we take reference as b after marking 2 next point is 3 3 dash is on c1 dash on c it is nearer to c1 dash so we can take c1 as uh, reference and measure the distance of 3 dash convert into isometric scale and mark c3 here it is 3 similarly where is 4 for 4 here we are having uh, 4 is not exactly on this any uh, vertical projector it is on the base it is on the uh, face it is on the face of the top face of the uh, cylinder so what we can do is so we drawn this uh, square in the isometric projection so you can take the measurement from q q to this point 4 i draw in a black uh, projector that can be reproduced here that has to be reproduced you can measure the distance of uh, q to this uh, four line or r to this five line so you can draw this qr side one parallel line by measuring this distance q to 5 or uh, sorry r to 5 or q to uh, 4 this is the line which is parallel to qr so we have drawn the same line which is parallel to qr this distance between q and this line you can measure from this uh, top u and convert into isometric scale after this you can see uh, the surface of the uh, cylinder surface of the cylinder we are having four here the surface of the cylinder we are having five where is the surface of sphere here so this is the four point so on the surface we are having four points similarly here it is the fifth point okay next is uh, six and seven six and seven six is on g1 dash and g that is g1 and g this is g1 and g on this point you can measure the distance of 6 dash from reference as g1 dash so you convert from g1 mark 6 finally it is 7 dash on h1 and h here it is h mark the distance of 7 dash convert by h as reference and fix 7 all these dimensions must be converted into isometric scale by multiplying whatever the value are obtaining here must be multiplied by 0 0.82 times while drawing here now we can join this 1 2 3 4 5 6 by means of continuous thick lines so first convert this this is a straight line 
being a cylinder we have to join all these things by means of a smooth curve not by means of straight lines okay so there is no uh, sharp edges in this cylinder we have to draw all these things by means of continuous thick smooth lines this 4 to 5 y straight line because of the condition of section plane now we can join all these things by means of smooth lines you can see 5 to 6 uh, 6 to 7 7 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 7 so all the cutting points of section plane by means of continuous thick lines what about this portion 5 to e1 so here this is f1 5 f1 e1 and d1 is the remaining portion of the solid so that has to be converted 5 f1 e1 d1 and again d1 to 4 is the remaining portion of the solid must be converted into continuous thick lines now boundaries must be converted what about boundaries so here this is the cutting point of section plane 7 to h is the remaining portion you can check it here 7 to h is the remaining portion that to here it is boundary before that you can do the hatching for the cut surface of the cylinder this is the cut surface of the cylinder as you can refer here from 4 to 5 this is 4 to 5 and this portion is not done uh, not uh, eligible for hatching that's why it is left as it is so you can join the boundaries 7 to h and then h to this base of the cylinder 7 to a b c d h then a b c d is the boundary then d to d1 is the boundary of the cylinder okay boundary of the cylinder this is our isometric projection of truncated cylinder isometric projection of truncated cylinder so it is uh, comparatively uh, easier than the pentagonal pyramid conversion because in pentagonal pyramid we did lot of uh, uh, measurements for converting those uh, section plane cutting points here we can straight away mark it on the vertical projectors mark it on the vertical projectors and make sure that the section plane cut surface alone must do the hatching remaining you can leave as it is this is the final answer of isometric projection of the truncated cylinder i hope uh, you like this video and also you understand this uh, problem completely still if you have any doubts you can replay this uh, video again and uh, any clarifications you need you can ask through a comment box uh, you can share the same with your friends for their uh, learning subscribe this channel for further videos thank you